Hi and welcome to Tech It Out. I've been saying for quite a while now that I need to replace my craft knife that I've been using to open the various boxes and things. This whole thing here, which is, um, well, really well used and full of gunk and bits of sticky off tape and things. So I actually went out and bought a new knife. I actually ended up buying two, a craft knife and this one, which we'll come to in a moment, a, a box cutter. So this is the new craft knife. It's made by somebody called X-Cut. Comes with a lifetime guarantee. And it, it looks a bit like a pen. It's got a safety cap on it and some spare blades. So I thought I'd just do a quick silly little unboxing. So if we can just get it out of the container without cutting myself. I don't think the blades are in any kind of safety container, just this little plastic cup as it were. <laughs> so I'll put those down there out the way for now, for safety's sake. Why buy me? I am craftastic. Mm. I cut paper, card stock, thin foam, vellium and more. I work well with the X-Cut self healing cutting mats. I have a cushion grip for comfort and came with four replacement blades. So this is it then. The X-Cut, it's got a nice little feel to it actually. It's got a, a rubberized grip there. And it's nice and chunky. It's not too thin like some of the metal ones you get. And there's the cutter itself. I like these cutters for opening things because you can be a bit more precise and delicate if you've got something like documents or whatever inside that are useful, not just the usual rubbish that you get. Or perhaps there's something with uh, a metal cover or uh, indeed a plastic cover that will get scratched if you're not careful opening them. And of course for various other uses as well around the house and when I'm working for cutting things uh, sometimes you have to be very gentle so yeah nice little cut and nicely weighted nice and comfortable good grip and of course extremely sharp so put that back on there. Then we come to this now I wasn't going to buy this but I thought well, this actually looks quite interesting and novel. So I picked it up and decided to buy it. I wonder if I can use the craft cutter to actually open it. Let's see how sharp this is. That's the three taken care of. Back in its safety cap. And again, the blades just fall out. At least they're in a safety container this time. There's some normal Stanley type blades there. And then we have the knife itself. And what actually drew me to it, apart from the fact that it's nice and small and compact, it's solid metal. Um, it's really, really well put together. Uh, it fits in the hand perfectly, as you can see there, the little finger cup. Absolutely wonderful. But what really drew me to this, and I thought I've got to have this, it's so different. Normally you just slide out the blade and it slides out and uh, you do your cutting and you slide back in. But this one is a bit of a, a transformer, as you'll see now. Yeah. I don't know why, it just tickled me. And uh, it was a bit unusual, a bit different, so I thought I'd buy this one as well. So, a lovely bit of engineering. Excellent, nice and smooth. And to put the blade in, it says pull here. So I take it, you pull that, and then... And that is just a piece of paper, of course, it's not really the blade. If you take one of the blades, slide it out of its protective casing carefully. Make sure the others are back in. Let me slide it in. Lift the tab. And I don't even have to push it in, it actually slides all the way in, it's secure. And then lock it away. So there we go. In the coming videos, you'll be seeing 
these more often, no doubt, as I open up various things. I have got a, a very interesting video coming up, something very special and uh, an early view as it were. I'm hoping it'll be here tomorrow so I may be making the video and posting it tomorrow night hopefully. Until then though, thank you for watching.